In this review of inequalities, we have to remember how to solve them. Inequalities solve just like equations, except for one thing. If we multiply or divide by a negative. So let's fill in the blanks. If we multiply or divide by a negative, we must flip the inequality. So let's go ahead and solve example one. We're going to need to remember how to solve, graph, and write in interval notation. Add seven to both sides. And subtract four x from both sides. We get negative two x is greater than eight. We divide by negative two to isolate x, which means we're going to have to flip the inequality over. This gives us x is less than negative four. Now we can graph it. Once we graph it, here's zero. To the right is positive infinity, to the left is negative infinity. We need to find negative four call that negative four. If x is less than negative four, we have an open dot at negative four heading to the left. And finally, if we want to write it in interval notation, we're going to have a parenthesis at negative four and a parenthesis and negative infinity. Moving on to example two, let's go ahead and first subtract five from both sides. We get negative four x is greater than or equal to eight. Divide by a negative four. That means we're going to have to flip our inequality over we're going to have x is less than or equal to negative two. Graphing our inequality, we'll call this negative two right here. If x is less than or equal to that, we're going to head, have to head toward negative infinity. So this will be a closed dot at negative two, heading toward negative infinity. Now that we have it graphed, we can write the interval notation for it. It's approaching negative infinity, but it will never touch negative infinity. And it does include the value of negative two, so that will be a bracket. So we solved, we graphed it, and then we wrote it in interval notation.